couple of months ago, Tammy and I were in Idaho experiencing some much needed rest and our worship team wrote this song. It's very simple, but it was profound. And every now and then you'll hear a song where you hear God, you feel God. And I didn't even get to be in worship during this song. I, I watched it and witnessed it on Instagram. Isn't that amazing? God can use Instagram. Maybe he can use the Enneagram. Maybe. Pray about it. But here was the song. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Holy are you, Lord. I instantly emailed one of our worship leaders and I said, can I please have that song? And I played it on repeat in my car and I wept. I wept at the simple words, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. I felt like I was singing with the angels. I felt the spirit of God, a song written and sung by a four, took me to the throne of God's heart. And I wept while my wife was in Target, because that's hell. (laughs) I'm not going in. And I just sat in my car on repeat, the words over and over and over again, holy are you, Lord, holy are you, Lord, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. And I just wept and I went home and I got on my computer because I wanted to read it in Hebrew. I wanted to hear what it sounded like in Hebrew. And I wanted to look for those exact words, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. And so I researched the Hebrew from Genesis to the last minor prophet. And what I found, I will never forget. Listen to me, fours. I couldn't find the words exactly. Holy are you, Lord. But here's what I did find. I found these words. Atem Kodesh a Yahweh. And what that means is, holy are you to the Lord. We sing to the Lord, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. And the Holy Spirit in heaven sings to us, holy are you to me. Holy are you to me, Atem Kodesh Le Yahweh. You fours are holy unto him. And he loves you. He loves you. Think about that the next time we're in worship and ask the Holy Spirit, what are you singing about me from heaven? You are mine, says the Lord, and you are holy to me, precious. Don't be anyone else. Let me pray for you. God, let me feel my emotions, but let me follow your instructions. God, as a church, let us repent for trying to make fours anything but what you've called them to be. They are beautiful, wonderful, amazing creations of God. And historically, they have had a hard time in the church. And we have driven their creativity. We have driven their inspiration into the world away from you, the one who gave them that beauty. Let us as a church, God, open our arms to our creative, emotionally centered friends. And I pray, God, that their beauty would reflect your beauty that is in heaven. And Father, I pray for every four right now that they would be convicted by the power of your Holy Spirit and that they would know that you created them to be holy unto you and to reflect your heart and your passion and your creativity. Lord, help them to know right now that they are a blessing and that they are beautiful just the way they are. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen.